know when you're managing your workshop you really want to know how you're going on a daily basis now with some systems you have to wait weeks or months for everyone to get all the data in now with the AutoSoft that's a little different what we do is we prepare figures on a daily basis based on average costs and last known costs so if you're buying parts and you haven't entered the invoices in yet it doesn't matter the system will look what the last cost was sometimes there'll be a few fluctuations in there but most of the time you're going to be able to get a really good feel about how you're going even on the day when you finish up so this here is what we call the management report now this generates straight out of the system with the click of the button. You don't have to wait for your accountant or your bookkeeper or anything to do all of the, the nitty gritty work. So long as the day to day entries are being made, sales are being raised, receipts taken, all that sort of stuff, you're going to get this kind of information out of the system. Now it gives you a mini breakdown profit and loss at the top here. So just the essential things. What are my sales today? What have I gone for the month? What's my cost to sales, month, year to date, etc. And it gives me things like the other income and an expenses total. Now it's just a, a summary, it's just to give you an idea. So we can see for the month we're tracking okay, we've got 51,000 in net profit, not bad. So we can see now in the profit and loss department summary here where that money has come from and with ours we can see here that it's obviously come from the workshop if we had other divisions they could be shown here also we also get a good feel here of our debtors and our creditors so the money we're wait expecting to collect and what we expect to pay so we can see here what our 90 60 30 days are in our current we also can see in the balance sheet summary there an overall net position the net assets show us pretty much how the company is going and what it's worth. So we can see assets less liabilities to get our net value. The GST really important. We want to track this and we want to keep an eye on it because we don't want to have too much GST exposure come the end of the period. We want to know roughly how much money we need to be putting away so that we can have the money provided. This tells us exactly where we should be at at this point in the month. Now if we flick over on the following page we can see some trend information. This is really handy. It shows us here how we've gone from sales from year to year. We can see how our company has grown. Um, we can see in the complete years where the sales are at. We've had some big growth through the 2000 and 10 and 11 periods and it shows us here during the last quarter how we've gone also we can see the turnover figures there a 48 month sales forecast here shows the trend upwards we've been trying to build a business so it shows us in a glance how we're going and we can see things are looking pretty good things are all on the up oh and also up the top there we can see what our cash balances are how much money we've got in our bank accounts be good if that was real or fictitious information unfortunately but it gives us a good indication in the report here how we're going so that's called the management report and it comes out of autosoft with the click of a button really handy information